Hello everyone, and welcome to our virtual tour of Sanford Hydro. My name is Harry Orchard, and I'm the Operations Manager at the Low Carbon Hub, and I'll be your tour guide today. Sanford Hydro is situated near Sanford-on-Thames, downstream of Oxford, just off the Thames towpath. Sanford Hydro has been a long labour of love for the local community. Community members directed the project tirelessly from its conception, eventually setting up Sanford Hydro Community Interest Company. As the project grew, they teamed up with the Low Carbon Hub for the planning, development, and completion of the project. Now operated by the Low Carbon Hub Sanford Hydro Limited, the hydro was majority funded through a community share offer and was commissioned back in August of 2017. With an installed capacity of 440 kilowatts, making it the largest community owned hydro scheme on the River Thames, the hydro is capable of generating approximately 1.6 gigawatt hours of electricity each year depending on the weather and river conditions. That's enough to power approximately 450 homes, or as we often like to put it, it's enough energy to make nearly 18 million cups of tea. Anyone who has managed to visit Sanford will know that it's an area rife with wildlife, including many species of water birds, birds of prey and fish. Grey heron and little egrets can be found in the nearby area. And if you're particularly lucky, you might even see a kingfisher. To make the environmental impact of the hydro scheme as small as possible, we also constructed a fish pass alongside. The fish pass is an innovative design by Dr. Reinhard Hassinger from the University of Kassel in Germany. It was the first of its kind in the UK, with a novel design combining concrete and naturalised sections, including a resting pool and spawning grounds. At the upstream and downstream ends of the pass are technical sections comprising brush and baffle components which allow the fish to rest as they travel along the pass. Between these two technical sections are 120 metres of a natural gravel line channel. This provides additional stream habitat, including spawning and nursery habitat for a variety of species of fish. Fish that are known to use a pass include salmon, sea and brown trout, eels, fast watercourse fish such as barbel and chub, and also slow watercourse species such as bream and pike. This makes quite a menu for the local herons, who are often seen perched on the fish pass waiting for a meal. As well as providing additional habitat, the fish pass allows fish to move upstream of the neighbouring weir for the first time in 400 years. Now let's head on into the hydro compound itself. The site consists of two buildings, one which houses the generating turbines and one which contains the control system and additional electrical components. Our hydro consists of three Archimedes screws, which convert the energy in the water to the rotational motion of the screws, which in turn rotate a turbine to generate electricity. Each screw is 40 metres long and a whopping 22 tonnes in weight, and each are capable of moving eight and a half tonnes of water through them each second. The electricity that the hydro generates is exported directly to the grid, where it is then sold on to energy consumers. The speed at which the screws turn is dependent on the flow in the river, and so the amount of energy that the hydro generates fluctuates throughout the year, peaking during the winter and early spring, when there has usually been more rainfall. Sanford Hydro has a comprehensive control system, which measures a variety of things, including the power output of each screw and the plant as a whole, the speeds of each screw, and the river levels. By continuously monitoring for changes in the river levels, the system adjusts the speed of the screws to maximise the power output. When the river is running quickly, and so there is more water than the hydro can use, the Sanford Lock Keeper operates the adjacent lasher weir to control the river levels further. In the near future, we'll be installing equipment to automatically control two of these weir gates, which will allow us to optimise the energy we generate when the river conditions are changeable, particularly in the autumn and spring. Each screw is equipped with upstream and downstream trash screens, which are essentially large metal gratings that prevent large objects from entering screw channels. Naturally, these tend to catch quite a few foreign objects that end up in the river, including the expected tree branches and twigs, but also the more bizarre, such as traffic cones, road signs, and on one occasion, even a 10-man tent. We work closely with Aspire Oxford, a local social enterprise who provide employment for people facing homelessness, poverty and disadvantage. 
and they gen regularly visit the hydro to remove the debris and maximise the green energy that we're able to generate. The Low Carbon Hub are currently one of the main project partners in Project LEO, standing for Local Energy Oxfordshire, which aims to explore how we can use smart local energy systems to meet the energy needs of local communities. As part of this project, we are running technical innovation trials in which Sanford Hydro is able to perform an exciting role. By slightly reducing the speed of the screws, we can increase the amount of water in the river upstream of the hydro, essentially storing it for later use. At a later time, we can then increase the screw speeds to generate extra energy when it's most needed, for example at dinner time, when we tend to see a peak in energy demand. We are therefore able to use the river as a form of battery. We are still in the middle of Project Leo, but we're continuously looking at additional ways that the hydro can be used to contribute to a smart local energy system. Thank you very much for joining us on this virtual tour. We hope you found it informative and if you get the chance, please do head down to Sanford to have a look for yourself. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the rest of o Oxford Open Doors. And if you have any questions about the Hydro or any of the Low Carbon Hub's other projects, you can find contact information for us on our website at www.lowcarbonhub.org.